So what is this symbolic logic? In general, the rules of logic gives an exact conclusion to any valid arguments of statements. So this is the main meaning of this logic. Logic is an important aspect of computer. This is used in the computer architecture, developing software programs and circuit designs also. Let us look at this picture. You can see the girl is sitting with an umbrella inside a room. Is there any logic here? Do you want to have an umbrella if you are sitting inside your room? Because neither it's going to be a rain for you or it's not going to be the sunbeams it's going to affect you when you are inside the room it seems to be illogic what's the meaning of this logic let us see some basic terms of this logical statements then we will move into the computations of that the first basic term what we are going to study is statement what is the meaning of a statement a statement is a sentence that is either true or false but not both the meaning of a statement is if you take the sentence and if you give the answer yes or no then it should be valid if it is not valid if you are not able to say that sentence is true or sentence is false then we are not going to take that type of sentences as statements symbolic logic means we are going to give a symbol for this statement usually we will use the small letter alphabets to represent a statement now let us take some examples of statements first statement opera house is in muscat see we are using the symbol small p for this statement opera house is in muscat and second statement is salala is the capital of uae so we are using the symbol so we call it as a symbolic logic and what is the statement here this is the statement opera house is in muscat now if somebody is saying to you that opera house is in muscat you are able to say yes it is there or you can say no it is not that it is possible for you to assign any one of the value take the second statement salala is the capital of uae now you are able to assign any one of the value s yes or no so if we don't worry about whether it is always yes it is always no no if any one value is possible to assign then we call that sentences as a statement what do you mean by what is the meaning of not a statement is it possible a sentence which is not a statement now let us take some examples for that the sun is very hot if somebody is saying you cannot say it is true it is false because sun is always false this is called the common fact q happy birthday to you if somebody is saying this sentence to you you cannot say this is true this is false okay and third one we can say i'm so happy you cannot say this is true this is false for that and uh, if you take uh, this sentence x plus y equal to 7 we cannot say this is right or wrong because it depends on the values of x and y if x and y are properly chosen like 4 and 3 4 plus 3 will come 7 but if they have chosen different values something like 1 and 1 1 plus 1 is not equal to 7 so it is not always true or not always false so this is not a statement so these are some of the examples where a sentence fails to be a statement so they are not statements now let us see one step ahead what is a compound statement compound statement means two or more primitive statements and combine them to make a long statement so the long statement is called a compound statement how to combine them in symbolic logic each primitive statement is represented by one single alphabet 
and if you are using the conjectures to connect two or three primitive statements then it represents a compound statement let us see some of the examples for a compound statement p and q so p is a primitive statement q is a primitive statement in between we are using the conjecture and now p and q is a compound statement opera house is in musket and salala is the capital of uae this is a compound statement second if you are using r opera house is in musket or salala is the capital of uae so they are not primitive statements two primitive statements are combined with the conjecture or it became a compound statement the third case is it is not correct that salala is the capital of uae so we just make it as opposite so we call it as a compound statement now let us see what is the truth value of a statement now you know what is the meaning of a statement you know that sometimes it is correct and sometimes it is not correct in logic a truth value of a statement varies with respect to our common sense and practical applications so usually we know that something is always true something is always false something may change with respect to timing all those things so truth value means it represents a statement is correct or wrong the truth value of a statement a uh, particularly a primitive statement may be either true we will use the capital letter tree to represent true or false again we will use the capital f to represent false but note that a statement cannot be in between little true little false it's not possible so that is a basic definition of a statement so for any statement we are able to exactly say this is true or this is false okay so whenever it is true we put t there whenever it is false we can make f there so that is the truth value of a statement now truth value of a compound statements truth value of a compound statement means it is having two or three primitive statements inside so all together based on the primitive statements and based on the conjectures what you are using in it the truth value of the compound statement will be different so in this unit we are going to study about how to calculate the truth value of the compound statements based on the truth value of the primitive statement and what is the conjecture they are using okay so that is the portion we are going to study in this chapters now let us take very small examples to make our understanding more clear okay first let us check identify which of the following are statements let us take a state sentence now royal opera house is in muscat so we are able to say yes or no so this is going to be a statement so the answer is it is a statement second sentence is, is salala is the capital of uae again i'm telling don't worry about this is correct or wrong but very important thing is we are able to say any one of the answer so this is also a statement next sentence what is your age you cannot say yes you cannot say no so therefore this is not a statement again let us take this sentence car is going very fast you cannot say this is true this is false so this is not a statement why we are saying this is not a statement means the word itself is saying it is going very fast so that means it is true ms word is a product of linux if you use a common information so you know that this is correct or wrong so this is a statement x plus y equal to 4 by using this only one equation we will not be able to say this is right or wrong because it depends on the values of x and y so this is not a statement we'll take one more example 
4 minus 7 equal to 3. You can feel the difference between the U and V. Here they are not particular, so this is not a statement. Whereas here 4 minus 7 equal to 3. You are exactly able to say any one of the value is or no. Okay, therefore this is a statement. So this is the idea to classify any sentence into a statement. Once you come to a statement, then what is the next level? The next level is we have to fix the truth value for that. So find the truth value of the following statements. Let us take some statements. So note that they are statements. That means any one of the answer is definitely possible. So our answer is going to be either true or false. First sentence, Royal Opera House is in Muscat. So this is true. Therefore, the truth value is true now. Second one, Sarala is the capital of UAE. You know that it is not correct. Therefore, false. The dog drives car. It's not correct. So we can say it is false. My car runs on three wheels. Again, by the common sense, this is not true. If somebody is saying that means he is not giving the right information. So this is false. Windows is a product of Linux. If somebody is saying like that. So he doesn't know the product. So we can say this truth value is false. X square is greater than or equal to zero for all x belongs to r r means the real numbers any real numbers if you are squaring definitely it's going to be a positive value so the truth value for this is 4 minus 7 equal to 3 you know that 4 minus 7 the answer is going to be minus 3 not the plus 3 therefore the truth value is false for this I hope you understand what is the meaning of a statement and what is the truth value of a statement. Please subscribe to this channel for more updates. Wish you all the best. Signing off Dr. C. Sudhakar.